Hello, Facebook. Good, good morning. Um, hope everybody's doing well. I hope you guys are geared up for the uh, weekend. Um, yeah, I was just coming, coming, coming to talk, you know, about this. Should I say pandemic, epidemic, or whatever it's called, coronavirus, the COVID nineteen. What do you guys think about it? I know this may be a stupid question asking what do you guys think about it? You know, I was just reading a news today that the 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 one person that was infected in Nigeria of the COVID-19 is actually really responding to treatment very well. That's really impressive. I just thank God. Yes. Not saying that Africa does not need this right now. But the world doesn't really need this. But when you look at it again, you, you, you notice that it's just the end times, man. It's just the end times. People, the world is coming to an end. Jesus is coming soon. This may sound like a joke, but seriously, we are flooding all over. Earthquakes, fire, viruses. I wasn't too long that Africa recovered from the Ebola virus. And now, we're talking about the coronavirus. God help us. God help us. Well, what I can only encourage us to do is avoid areas that are very crowded, like malls, movie theaters, um, you know, places that are crowded, and don't go too close to people. At this time, at this time, I'll even I, I look at it this way. A hand, avoid handshakes, hugs, you know, stay away from somebody, stay away from people, like give a reasonable gap between you and, and people. You know, it's, it's very difficult to, 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 to do these things that are being said. And hand washing, hand washing the number one. Wash your hands at all times. I'm even walking around with my, I'll show you guys something. With, um, <laughs> with, um, look. Hand sanitizer in my pocket. You could never be too careful, you know. So I'm walking around with it. Um, I really, 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 really pray. From I really pray that this thing is is taken care of. I pray that it gets under control because if this thing should, you know, it's very easy to spread this this coronavirus. It's very, very, very easy. Very easy very easy i was reading an article about um someone in california that got infected this person was sick he fell sick and uh, was taken to the hospital by a neighbor they found out he had a covid19 and then this person was married, had two kids, and with, you know, the wife. They all tested positive. Then, the, the, the neighbor that took, took him to the hospital also tested positive. The husband, the, the, the neighbor's husband, uh, wife rather, and kids also tested positive. This, this thing, I mean, it can be a chain that, oh, I tell you. So, you guys... We should do our best to just avoid avoid hugging, handshakes for now at least, um, handshakes, and wash your hands as much as possible. Wash your hands as much as possible, and it won't it won't hurt to go around with, you know, this may look funny, but hand sanitizer, little one, you know, because you go you go to the public, you touch doorknobs, you know. You sit on, on tables. Let's say you go to the restaurant. You sit on tables that others have sat there. Or you get in the plane. You sit to somebody that very, very close to you. You know, it's, it's, like I said, it's very easy to contact this virus. As much as, you know, it's not good to put fear in people. It's as much as, it, you know, it's good to really, really be aware of what is going on and take precautions. And take precautions. And 
to crown it all, pray. There's nothing that is too, you could say it's too minor or science has taken over that you, you, you look at it as something that you cannot pray about. Pray. Pray. Because this thing, it is coming so close to home. I heard a story in San Antonio, San Antonio, Texas. Let me tell you guys. San Antonio, Texas, what happened? I think it was last, was it last two weeks or last weekend? A lady was sick and went to the hospital there in San Antonio. And, um, you know, this because of the symptoms that um, she was manifesting, they, they ran a test on her for, for coronavirus. The test came back negative. They ran the second test of the COVID-19. It was still negative. They released her and she left. She went. She went. The first place she went to was to the mall. North Storm, North Storm, North Storm, North, North Storm Mall. She went shopping. She went to, no, she went to North Storm store at the mall. That's the first place that she went to. And then from there, she went to the food court to to eat she sat at the table there ordered food from the servers and you know she was going about her business and then guess what i don't know what happened i don't i can't remember the story but the hospital there was there was panic because somehow somehow the results was read again and they found out that this lady is actually actually tested positive for the covid 19. now they started tracking her Luckily enough, they could, they could track her. They knew that she went to the, to the mall. And then the store that she went to, Nordstrom, uh, Nordstrom store. And then from there, she went to the food court, ordered food, sat there and ate, interacted with, you know, servers and stuff like that. Just going around about her business. So when they, when they, they tracked her and <clears throat> what happened, excuse me, what happened is they had to shut down the mall. They had to shut down. If if you guys if you guys want to read about this this story, Google um, a coronavirus case in San Antonio, Texas. Google that. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Just Google that. You know this story. You read about this story. So they shut down the mall. They shut down the mall and. They said that they're shutting down the mall because they wanted to clean the mall. They wanted to disinfect the mall. That's what they said. But the mall was shut down. Read about the story. Google coronavirus case in San Antonio, Texas. You'll see what I'm talking about. So you guys, we can we can't be um too careful, you know. Take every precaution. Don't minimize or underlook anything. This simple hand washing do it all the time and avoid you know messing with your taking your hands and messing with your eye your nose your your mouth touching your face avoid touching your face as much as possible if you go out you come back to your house the first thing wash your hands use hand sanitizer i keep saying this i carry my little hand sanitizer this may sound so funny but here it is it's in my pocket you know i carry it in my pocket like I said, we go out, we, 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 we may not interact with too much people, but there's not every door that is automatic. When you approach the door, the door just opens. There's some that you have to hold, turn it, touch the knob, open it. You use toilets, you know, public toilets when you're out there. And, and this thing, oh God, God help us. God help us. Well, that's all I wanted to, come, <clears throat> to talk about this morning. Um, it's Friday. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Be careful. Be careful. Take care of yourselves. Take all the precautions possible. Do everything to stay out of this, this thing that is going around now. Don't go to public places. I look at it this way. Don't go out if you don't want, if you don't need to. That's the best way. Especially in those towns that are already recording death, Washington, of coronavirus. Now, 
let me tell you guys something for for the for somebody to die of coronavirus that means that that virus has been around for at least five to six weeks it has been in the community for five to six weeks it has, it has been around that person must have been spreading it Just think about it that person must have been spreading it and then fell sick went to the hospital and then tested positive and then by the time they die, like I said, this they've been this virus has been there for at least five to six weeks. I'm not an expert, but that's what that's what they write about. And then for somebody to even um show symptoms, it means that they that virus has been in the community, has been around for at least three weeks. So think about it. So if you're saying that, oh, you're safe, oh, it's not here, or, or you know, or you're not taking precautions. <laughs> then you're joking. Just take precautions. Do what you can do and leave the rest to God. Do what you can do and leave the rest to God. You know? So you guys, <clears throat> enjoy your weekends. Avoid, if you wanted to go to the theater to watch a movie this weekend, can you imagine the, um, what is it called? The James Bond movie that was supposed to be released has been moved to November because of the COVID-19. Think about it. This thing is real. So we need to be very careful. Take all the precautions possible and pray. Pray that this thing should not be our portion. Pray. Pray. So enjoy your weekends, guys. Stay out of trouble. Stay safe. And pray always. Thank you, guys. Bye.